Hello and welcome to Telware's GenBox end user phone training session. My name is Coley and I'll lead you through today's training. This video will cover the basic button layout and features of the Yealink T42. Let's get started. On the bottom right hand of your new Yealink phone, you will see the speakerphone button. When pressed, this button will initiate speakerphone and have a dial tone. Speakerphone is also an option if you are already on a call and wish to switch from the handset to the speaker option. Above the speakerphone button is the redial button. When this button is pressed, you are taken into a list of recently placed calls. Simply use your directional pad to highlight the number you wish to call back and press either the send soft key in the display or the redial button. If you want to do an automatic redial of the last person you called, simply press the redial button twice. Above the redial button is a white envelope symbol. This is your message button and how you will access your voicemail. We will cover this later in the training. Right above the message button is a button to activate and deactivate your headset. If you do not use a headset, you will not have a need for this button. If you do use a headset and need to activate it once it is plugged into the phone, press the headset button and it will light up green. If your button is illuminated, this means your headset is currently active. To deactivate your headset, press the button once more and then the green light will turn off. At the top right of this section is a mute button. This will only activate if you are on an active call. This button is a simple toggle on, toggle off. If illuminated red, your conversation is muted. This means you can still hear the person you are on the phone with, but they only hear silence. Moving slightly to the left, you see the directional pad on the phone. This allows you to navigate up, down, left, and right in a menu and select different options depending on your goal. Simply hit OK to select highlighted options. Below the directional pad is a small button with an X on it. This button is multifunctional. It can be used as a wake up function of the phone if the screen is off or dim. It can also be used to back you out of menus step by step until you get back to the home screen. This is useful when you find yourself in a menu and are not sure how you got there or how to get back. This button also acts as a hang up function when you are on the phone. We consider this to be the polite way to hang up on someone as it is a silent action. But if you are searching a menu while on the phone and use this button to back out, be aware you might hang up on the call if pushed too many times. The bar at the bottom of your phone with a minus and plus sign is your volume control. This button has three functions. If you are in an idle state or your phone is ringing, the plus and minus symbols raise and lower the ringtone volume. If you are on a call using the handset, these will change the volume of what you will hear through your ear. If you are on speakerphone, this will raise and lower the volume of your speaker. Note that when you adjust this volume, the setting you change it to will remain at that level, as opposed to resetting to a neutral state. Turning your attention toward the screen, the T42 has six programmable buttons. As our phones are fully customizable, some of the programmable buttons may differ depending on your business's needs. On the left side are two open lines for multiple calls. Other programmable key options include speed dials, busy lamp fields, also known as presence, queue log in and out buttons, and system park buttons. We will go over system park in a later section. When the phone is idle, the home screen has four soft key options at the bottom of the screen. Starting on the left, the history soft key will take you to your call history. If you push the history soft key, you will see all your phones missed, placed, received, 
and forwarded calls in order from the most recent to the oldest. If you navigate left and right, you can break down your calls into each individual category. You may also toggle up and down to highlight the entry you wish to interact with. In the History menu, you see new soft keys to Go Back, Delete a History Entry, See more options such as Call Details, Add to Contact, Add to Blacklist, or Delete All. Both the Add to Contact and Add to Blacklist are phone specific. Our last soft key option is to send a call back to the highlighted phone number. Outgoing calls have arrows pointing up and out. Incoming calls have arrows pointing down and in. And missed calls have the bouncing arrow. Coming back to the home screen, your second soft key button is labeled PBook. If you press this, it will take you into your system phone book. This consists of your remote phone book, your local directory, and your history. Click on Remote Phone Book and then select Company Directory. Here, you will see all the phone numbers within the phone's system. These contacts are on every phone, are entered in the back end of the system, and are not editable. The soft keys have now changed to Back, Search, Option, and Send. If you choose to search within the phone book, you have two primary options. You can see the search mode as denoted by the second soft key. Using ABC mode, you will need to type out a person's full name letter by letter. You can switch this setting to 2AB, which is a predictive text option. As opposed to pressing the button four times to select an S, you can press it once and move to the next predictive letter. This saves you time and narrows down your search as you type the numbers associated with each letter. If we go back to the company directory and choose the Option button, we can view details of the highlighted contact. We can add to our personal or local contact list, or we can add to blacklist, just like with our call history. It is important to note that any contacts you choose to add to contacts will be going into a separate phone list called your local directory. Going back to our initial PBook screen, scroll down to the second option labeled Local Directory and press Enter or OK. This is where your phone's local contacts will be saved. You can save any number here and access it later. You can even create specific groups within this directory. Back on the home screen, our third soft key option is labeled DND, which stands for Do Not Disturb. If you press this button, you will see the letters DND appear in the top right of your screen. This signifies you are in DND mode and your phone will send all calls straight to voicemail. This is useful when you are in meetings and don't want to be distracted with a ringing telephone. Keep in mind you must deactivate D&D when you want to start receiving calls again. Our last soft key button on the home screen is the menu button. If you press this button, you will have the option to view your phone's status and features. You will not need to use these often as they are system settings and cannot be changed by a user. Toggle down to number 3, Settings, and press Enter or OK. Press enter once more to go into basic settings. Here, you can adjust your phone's language, time and date, display settings such as the backlight and screensaver, and sound settings like your ringtone and keytone sounds. Let's practice a call. First off, if for whatever reason you are having a hard time remembering your own phone's extension, Simply lift the handset and your extension will appear in the top center of your phone. 
Often, your extension is also labeled as your open lines as well. To place a call, dial either the extension of a coworker or a full 10-digit phone number of an outside number, then press the Send soft key. When receiving an incoming call, our soft key options will once again change. As your phone is ringing, your options are to answer, forward, silence, or reject the call. Forwarding the call will allow you to redirect the caller to another user in the system without you having to answer the phone. Silencing the call will make the ringing stop on your phone, but the caller still hears the standard number of rings on their end before they are sent to voicemail. Even though you have silenced your phone, you still have the option to answer the call by pressing answer, pressing the speaker button, or picking up the handset. If you choose the reject option, you will send the caller straight to voicemail, immediately stopping the ringing. Once on an active call, your soft key options become transfer, hold, conference, and end call. To transfer a call, two options are available. For a blind transfer, press the transfer button on the lower left-hand side, search the directory, dial the extension, or dial a full phone number, then press B transfer before the phone begins ringing you will send the call directly to the new receiving party without speaking to them beforehand. With an attended transfer, your steps are almost the exact same. Starting with an active call, press the transfer button, search the directory, dial the extension, or dial a phone number, then press send and wait for the receiving party to answer and let them know the situation before pressing transfer or hanging up. In both situations, the party on the other side of the call will hear hold music until the transfer is completed. If you would like to transfer to voicemail, it can be accomplished by using a special dial code while doing a blind transfer. Typically, we program the dial star 55 and then enter the number of the voicemail box you wish to transfer to. Back on to our active call options. To place a caller on hold, press the hold soft key. The other party will hear hold music until you resume your call by pressing the resume soft key option or the flashing green line. Creating a conference with this system is like the transferring process. Press the conference soft key, search for a contact or dial a number, press the send soft key, and once the new party has answered, press conference again to bridge the calls together. Our new soft key options are split, which allows you to separate the calls back to their original positions, hold, which places both callers on hold, manage, and end call. If you press the manage button, you can choose to bar mute other individuals from the conference. You can remove selected individuals, and you can place other callers on a far hold. Using this conferencing method on the Yealink T42, only three calls can be in a conference at one time. If you would like the capability of more parties in the conference, we can set up a conference bridge to fit your needs. An alternative to transfer is PARC. PARC is a system-wide hold that incorporates all users in the system. To use System PARC during an active call, select your SP or PARC programmable button on the side of the screen. The party on the other side of the line will hear hold music and your phone lines are now free. Once you have the caller in PARC, you may contact the receiving party in whatever manner you choose. They will pick up the parked call by selecting the park button highlighted in red. Note that park is generally programmed with a 90 second ring back timer. If the call is not picked up within 90 seconds, the call will be sent back to the original phone to be attended to. Let's come back and talk about voicemail. 
access your voicemail by pressing the message key on your telephone or by dialing the voicemail access code 5000 and pressing send. A voice menu system will ask you to enter your account number, which is your four digit extension. You will then be asked to enter your password followed by the pound key. If you do not know your password, please email support at telware.com for assistance. The initial options you are presented are the following. Press one to play your new messages, two for old messages, three to send messages, four to set call forwarding, five to set current options, six to change greetings, seven to recover deleted voicemails. From here, you can follow a variety of prompts to accomplish your goals. Thank you for watching. If you ever need support for any phone issues, please email support at for our 24-7 emergency support.